Good afternoon, YouTube folks and audience. Today is uh, Wednesday, August 28th in the afternoon. Uh, doing this video uh, to expose the truth about the former chief of police, Bruce Bukowski. Um, so anyhow, so my original court arraignment, I'm sure as you've heard, was originally uh, Thursday, July 18th, and tomorrow morning, Thursday, the 29th of August, is my arraignment, which you can tell I'm very nervous about. That's a joke. Anyhow, I'm not nervous at all because um, I'm actually using the town's evidence to prove to everybody that uh, the Warren Police Association or the union, as well as certain individuals within the town of Warren, including a specific, uh, obviously, uh, Facebook page, doesn't have the truth on it. So anyhow, so um, on uh, July, I'm sorry, June 18th, I received the results from the Warren Board of Selectmen's office. This is the results of my records request, a summary of the requests that I have. I'm not going to go into the exact details, but anyhow. So I'm going to try and make this video pretty quick and right to the point. So everybody in Warren understands what is the truth about the former chief of police. So anyhow, the chief of police had a three-year contract. The contract was signed on the 11th day of July, 2016. So July 1 of 2019, because it was a three-year contract, it would need to be renewed. So the signatures, this is, has relevance to uh, actually my court case, uh, as well as um, evidence to the people from Warren to absorb this information. So at that point in time in 2016, we had Dario Nardi was the chairperson. We had James Gagner, who was the vice chair. And we had Mark Richard, who was the clerk at the time. And Bruce signed it, as you can see, that's a signature there. But it turns out that Selectman Mark Richard opposed the renewal of the contract. That has since changed and is going to be a totally separate video uh, coming out shortly um, regarding Mark Richard and the Chief of Police is that um, the relationship changed. Here he was opposed because he didn't get along with Bruce and then in 2018 it was the opposite. They were friendly and uh, Mr. Richard was doing everything he could to keep the Chief because uh, I'm not going to explain why but I already know why. Um, anyhow, uh, so one of the issues or one of the conflicts we have is James Gagner, as you know, was on the Board of Selectmen for three years, and there's lots of connections between James Gagner and the Chief of Police and some of the uh, corruption in the town. Um, so anyhow, so that's that form. So moving along to the magical document that uh, everybody needs to see and it will be by the time you see this video it will be published on the warren-ma.info website this is Bruce's letter of resignation now I said resignation I didn't say retirement I said resignation because the Warren Police Association the Union the police officers and certain individuals except other individuals. There are very few individuals in the town of Warren, including residents is what I'm referring to, that believe the chief retired. The chief did not retire, he resigned. And probably I would say, this is just my personal opinion, 50% of the reason that he just resigned was because uh, connected to me. And there are other reasons as well. Um, the selectmen were investigating some other things about him as well, some inappropriate stuff. So it's not just um, certain inappropriate things that he did to me. But the number one thing that this whole thing connects to is the Social Security number breach. Which, if you don't understand what that is, there's a new video coming out on that probably right after this one, as soon as I post this one. Short version of that is the did a records request and he provided the personal information, did not redact it, of the planning board members. He gave me the social security numbers, the home phones, their cell phone numbers, their uh, mailing addresses, street addresses, date of birth, and driver's license numbers. 
and he also uh, did. A, he also failed to redact uh, a separate document, which was um, on Bill Ramsey on another matter. When uh, that's another story in itself. When Mr. Ramsey, who was a town employee or still is, uh, decided to ram his personal pickup truck into my um, personal car. So I have that police report and there's discrepancies in that police report. And the problem with these records that I got, which I'm not discussing those records. Those are going to be separate videos in each of those other records requests that I'm talking about now. Um, but it does come back to some inappropriate activity uh, by, I believe, um, some other officers as well. I won't mention names because that will be released at some point in the future as well as it's all coming out at my... Uh, in, my, in the court, so um, evidence, so basically submitting, uh, using the town's evidence to prosecute the Warren Police Department. Pretty simple. Anyhow, so here's his letter of resignation right here. Uh, it turns out right here, which I will zoom in on this later, this is the section number one, resignation. It says resignation that I highlighted with a yellow highlighter. And I will read it. Effective immediately, Spakowski hereby irrevocably resigns his employment within the town. This agreement shall constitute the resignation document and is hereby accepted by the town. No retirement, resignation. So um, what, what irks me the most is the police officers have the balls to lie to the public, uh, one using a Facebook page that could be considered is possibly uh, considered town property because it is discussion of town related items. So that means it probably most likely does fall under the public records law versus being a private page. But anyhow, whether it's private or public, they're telling you the public and the residents of Warren and voters and taxpayers one story when this is the actual real story here. And I just read you that he resigned, did not retire. Anyhow, so moving right along, that's page one of six, page two of six, page three of six, four of six, five of six, and the most important document, or second most important page in this is this page, or these two, or actually three pages. This here is a signature page. This signature page was signed, Dario Nadi was absent, because uh, it says absent. Mark Richard signed it. Uh, John Nason signed it. Bruce Spikowski signed it. But here's the connection that nobody knows that I've known for months is this agreement is dated the third day of June of 2019. Now you're going to say, why does that have relevance? It has relevance because according to this email, from the selectman, which we move over here. So according to this email right here, which is dated Wednesday, May 15th, from Dario Nardi, selectman Nardi, to uh, the, the, their secretary, Becky Acera. And then it's also, uh, yes. So anyhow, it's a outline, and it turns out on June 4, which I highlighted right here in yellow highlighter, with pink, June 4, 2019, 6 p.m., executive session with the police chief. So, the chief, exactly what I've been telling when I see people from Warren, exactly what I tell them. The chief resigned knowing that his executive session was June 4th the following day. So he resigned and met with the selectmen before he was supposed to go there on June 4th. Now, I already know why he resigned, because it's in another set of records that is not here on my wall. He resigned because the selectmen had notified him that they were going to discipline him for the Social Security number breach. I don't know. I don't have those records in front of me. That's another set of papers. So I don't quite recall if it said, you're being fired June 4th, or whether it said, you're being disciplined June 4th. So, in my personal opinion, Bruce knew that he was going to have to face the consequences in being exposed, which was already exposed anyhow because the selectmen in town council and I were emailing back and forth about 
what to do with Bruce in the social security number breach that Bruce initiated and created. Anyhow, so you can see that he left June 3rd before the June 4th next executive session. So there's actually a problem with these six pages of documents. And the problem is that because these are being submitted as court evidence for me because it proves a motive that the chief was being fired um, because of social security number breach. This set of documents and another set of documents. The issue was before the chief resigned, he thought it would be funny to file the criminal charges against me um, in retaliation for a bunch of stuff. That's another video in itself. But anyhow, now that he resigned and is gone, because he knew, in my opinion, he knew his time was coming. And so, so, so as soon as this agreement signed, his hands are washed. But here's the problem that the taxpayers and residents don't know, is in this right here, number three, this is what my lawyer found disturbing, and my other lawyer found disturbing, is a mutual release of all claim in waiver. What it was is his, according to the uh, public records that I have, uh, Bruce's lawyer wrote these documents, and it was made, it was not made in the benefit of the residents, taxpayers, and citizens of Warren. It was made to the benefit of Bruce. The problem is, is any claims, that's what this paragraph is here, and then, and then there's also Payout of unused vacation, return of town property, uh, re, uh, identification cards, severability, the entire agreement, not admission, representation of reciprocals, and blah, 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 execution under the seal, release. And the other thing, too, is right here, release of all claims. Bruce, Mr. Spikowski understands that his release and waiver of all claims against the town and any and all wages are under Mass General Law, Chapter da da da. And so the problem with this document is, is as soon as the selectman here signed it, it made the town financially and civilly responsible for all claims when he was employed and after employed, and then this also releases him, supposedly, of liability after it's signed. So what does that mean? That if any appropriate activity that the chief had while being employed. And remember, he was there since uh, January 1, 2007. So all the way back to then, any responsibility, these documents could, maybe, and I'm not giving a legal opinion, I'm just specifying what it says in the language, is that he believes that he's relieved of all liability. I've washed my hands, I've signed the documents, so if I did so, if I did something inappropriate by um, falsifying a police report or or committed any other act to anybody in Warren or anything like that, that he's relieved of all claims. Meaning that um, he basically say, "Hey, you can't sue me. You got to sue the selectman." So that is one disturbing thing that the selectman did, uh, in my opinion, did not think about. They should have not signed this document because you're basically making the people whose signatures are here, and uh, I guess I can give a secret out. Um, the reason why Dario Nardi did not sign this is because he did not agree with it. The other two selectmen agreed with it and signed it, but Dario um, is in public records saying that he did not agree with this because the language in this makes them responsible and and uh, Chairman Nardi, or Mr. Uh, yeah, Chairman Nardi at the time, did not want to be responsible for this. So, uh, and part of the reason is um, is also we have a, a ethical um, conflict with Mark Richard, because Selectman Mark Richard is the criminal suspect in the December 2018 assault on me in the Selectman's office. That's a separate video in itself, separate issue in itself. Anyhow, so I'm going to end the video there. I will, actually, I will take the camera and I'll show these. These will be on the website, most likely right above the YouTube video box on the website. 
but I will grab the camera and just show you these briefly and we'll end this video. Alrighty, so let me do this here. So anyhow, so this is, as I said, this is the current contract, July 11, 2016. Here is the resignation. Uh, hopefully you can see that, but right there is resignation. And then there I highlighted resigns his employment with the town. Two, three, four, five, page six. Right there, June 3rd, 2019, not too long ago. And then here was the executive session that was planned, as you can see right there, June 4, 2019, 6 p.m. Anyhow, so thanks for watching, and uh, that's it for this video. Until the next one.